<laughs> All right, you know, one of the things that we like to do on One Detroit is give you tours of neighborhoods. And maybe you think you know about a certain neighborhood or a city, but we take you around with a little bit of a unique perspective. This time we're showing you Livonia and we're getting former Congressman Thad McCotter and his brother Dennis, we're getting them to take the wheel and drive you around this Northwest Wayne County city. Yeah, yeah, that was a while. Yeah. So this is Seven Mile. Over here used to have Kmart. You can see that like all the other Kmarts. Yeah, it's, here's the guy that's problems. He used to go up there all the time. Everybody went there to, when we were kids to buy those parkas. Yeah. Those blue parkas with the fur. And some of them moon boots. And the moon boots. And the fur would always it's, get in your mouth. The snowmobile like, boots too. Remember the ones? Yep. With the little buckle on. Yeah. Had the blue light special. Now here's Livonia Mall. Livonia, in many ways, when it started, was a mauled city. You had Livonia Mall over here, and this was anchored by Sears, now it's a Walmart anchor. You had the old Wonderland Mall south of us. Now you got Laurel Park. I remember moving out to Livonia and Farmington being a dirt road. I don't remember Farmington being a dirt road. I do, I have different memories than you. They're coming back to me the older You're I get. You're in a different part of the car. Yeah, and I was in the back. Back when you had the seats in the back of the station wagon that opened up so you could oh, yeah. each other. Yeah. No seat belts. Yeah, trial lawyer's dream. Oh, yeah, but Parents moved out here. A lot of the people moved into Livonia. Livonia became the second largest city in Wayne County. It went over 100,000 people at one point. It's dipped under. But it may be heading back over 100,000 again. So we moved here in 1972. I was like seven, you were six. Our parents were Detroit public school teachers. We were over by the old Renaissance High. And it was part of the emigration from the city at the time. So we'd come down six miles, because there, no, there was no I-96. So we would take this, and it took, it took like forever. It took forever. It felt like it was taking forever. It was just a straight shot, though. Yeah, it was a straight shot. I yeah. remember when we came out, Mom said, we're moving to the country. Yeah. I was like, really? Really? Okay. Oh. Now, this is where we're going to show you where two icons of Livonia used to be and no longer are. See, now Livonia was, was incorporated because Detroit Racecourse was here. Oh, that's right. Thoroughbred Racing. They wanted to incorporate because they had racetrack. Oh, my gosh. I forgot all about that. That's and that right. was a huge thing. And then, yeah, they just kept, then it changed into Ladbrook. The Brits bought it. And now it's a shopping complex. Yeah, it's a Millennium Park. So we're heading down. <laughs> you remember, it used to be called the Mai Kai Theater. It was one of those huge theaters that had a huge screen. And then they changed it into the George Burns Theater. George Burns and they brought George, George Burns in to open it up. I don't know how they managed to do that. I remember Florence Henderson did a show there. Yeah, it was going to be like what the Fox is now. They're going to turn into a live entertainment venue. That's the George Burns Theater now. It's called Condominiums. There's Daly's. I don't think... You... Yeah, you can still they drive still, up, They man. still have the drive. It's still when he comes on way tonight. Now, this is your complex. The district courts are off five mile. And here's Livonia City Hall up here on your left. But we used to ride our bikes through here when they were building it and skateboard. I don't remember what the one that, that was there before it looked like. It looked a lot like that. Okay. City Hall Annex, it looked a lot like that. They left yeah. that part on there. We didn't know it at the time, but basically we were moving into downtown, quote unquote, Livonia, where a lot of the, the police fire, uh, the city municipal offices were. Bates. Yeah, <laughs> Bates. Bates has got to be yeah. the center of Livonia. Because when we came, it was like the first rush. And we were at the tail end of it. There was like a thousand little league teams. Yeah, thousands of little league teams. There's a few baby boomers, but a large part of it was really Gen X kids. Now this is the subdivision we grew up. We like to refer to it as Coventry Gardens or the subdivision behind base. Yeah, that's how, that's how people know it. Once the Generation X kids started growing up, it went from having too little school capacity to having too much. And so Lincoln Elementary School. That was where our school, that, that was one of the first schools to go down. That was my safety post yes, right yeah, safety there. safety post. Yeah. 
This is Lincoln Elementary School. <laughs> yeah. Not that, was, that was Mr. Gosman's class, that house right there. Yeah, he's in Arizona home, now. Home plate was right around that tree when we played yeah. baseball that yeah, way. Yeah, the school was all over here. You could hit it. And I remember the guy threatened to break our kneecaps when we hit the ball. Yeah, the we were little kids, and he, yeah. said he, he looked like Burger King. Well, it was a great King. life lesson. He looked like Burger King. Yeah, and he was Burger yeah, King. We called him Burger King for the rest of the, the next four years. Yeah, until we still do. Yeah. Still call him Burger King. I hope he's not around. He'd break our kneecaps. He'd break our kneecaps. We could probably use a replacement right now anyway. See, what they did in Livonia when, in the early 70s, and that is carried over now, is schools, parks all over Livonia. It's a quintessential bedroom community with all the conveniences you want, and Detroit's 20 minutes away if you want to go downtown. You would hear stories about in, like, especially the 2000s, I think even the New York Times was one, oh, Livonia's done, Livonia's done. Well, it's not going to happen, because the bedrocks, even though things have changed, you have the St. Mary's Mercy Hospital there. You have Madonna University of Schoolcraft now, which has four-year degrees. You have very stable housing property values now. And so people come in. You know, there's things have come and gone, but I think that one of the reasons that 48154, the zip code, which is hot again, like when we first moved here in the 70s, what's old is new, I think it's Bates bringing people. It's the heart of Lamont. Bates remains the heart of Livonia. What it will do to your heart is grounds for angioplasty. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it, I think. So what did you think that? <laughs> I thought it was very entertaining to watch that McCotter do it. I was going to say, our, our uh, One Detroit producer, Bill Kubota, uh, put that together. And I think getting their perspective of the McCotter brothers sitting in the front. That's, that's where I live, and I've never quite seen it that way. Yeah, I, I was will just differ say, on the You pointed out a lot of things. Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've lived there almost 30 years. Um, Bates, right by my daughter's house, my, both my daughters, they love Bates. They, every time you're over there doing anything, oh, I'll get Bates. I hate those hamburgers. <laughs> Come on, Nolan. I do. It seems like you're the like only white person castles? in Livonia. I mean, it looks like there a are, white castle. They're jazzed building. up white castles. Yeah. I never did like a greasy slider. You know, it was interesting to hear him <laughs> no talk, offense though. To no, off no offense. <laughs> None taken, I'm sure. Um, but we'll be getting their sponsorship. To hear, <laughs> but to hear them talk about their history and when their their family mm. moved there, that both their parents were school Fairly teachers. Common and story, yeah. A common story um, for Livonia and maybe a lot of the other subdivisions uh, ringing around. Yeah, Detroit. I mean, uh, you think about the time period they're talking about. This is yeah. when, uh, I mean, people had been leaving Detroit for about a decade at that point, but it had accelerated in a way that uh, was really starting to empty out neighborhoods in the city. And Livonia was one of the places that uh, a lot of people went. Uh, Mike Duggan, the mayor now in Detroit, has the same story to tell. Ed yeah. McNamara probably. Yeah. But no, I mean, uh, you, but you, you lived there for what, 30 years? Yeah, you said, 25, 30 years. It's a great yeah. town. And it was a town before Detroit started emptying out. There are old sure. sections of Livonia. It was a farming town. I went to Schoolcraft College in Livonia, and it was all farms around the college then. Now it's all, uh, you know, huge developments, office buildings, restaurants. It's, it's grown quite a bit, not, uh, not dissimilar to like Troy or, or even Southfield. I mean, it, those ring summers, suburbs built up rather quickly. Well, our, our thanks to the McCotter brothers, because uh, I don't think you're going to see that kind of tour from, uh, from anyone else.